of Philadelphia last night. And no disrespect, as good as Miami has been, especially defensively, they've been elite in the playoffs so far. A lot of the reaction last night and today has been focused on the 76ers, who for the second straight postseason, I think it's fair to say, couldn't seem to muster up enough fire or focus, sort of inexplicably. What, what do you make of what you saw from Philly? Well, we, we, we saw that the process didn't work. Is it right? still a process? Or well, are we still in the process? Yeah, and, and you know, and this is, you know, and, and, and this is, so historically we'll see that whatever these five, six year plans were, okay, they, 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 they don't work. Right. Now, when you look at, when you look at Harden and you look at Embiid, you ask yourself, are these two guys that we can move forward with and win a championship? The answer probably is no, because what Milwaukee and Miami and now Boston has done is pass Philadelphia. Seems that way. And, yeah. and, and you're looking at a, at a Harden and you're asking, can he get back to Houston, James Harden? Yeah. Which his teammate Embiid has said, he's not Houston, you know, James Harden. And how big a deal to you is it that he said that out loud? Because to me, I, I, I think, oh, my God, that's the sort of thing you don't necessarily say in front of a microphone. Well, I, I think he was, he was trying to take pressure off of Harden by using his honesty because the expectation was MVP Harden coming. But what we got was, you know, and these are decent numbers that, that sure. Harden put up. Sure. But they're not, you not, know, MVP. Not, not impactful. No. And, yeah. and so um, I'm not – I understand why he said it. Uh, I don't think he meant any harm, but the actual fact and honesty of it, it is what it is. You know, if you out there can find someone who loves you as much as Daryl Morey loves James Harden, <laughs> find that person and stick with that person. Yeah. Put your executive hat on now. Uh, Daryl Morey said today we're committed to having him around. What does that mean in terms of a contract? Like what kind of a commitment would should Philly give James Harden at this point in his career to pair with Joel Embiid. Well, that that'll be a discussion between you know Morway and his agent and and, and and Harden's agent. I can tell you that the player is always going to want the max. Sure. And not only is he going to want the max, but the rest of the league treats max players different than they treat you know guys who aren't the max. So if if Harden doesn't get the max, then he's knocked down a peg emotionally psychologically and he falls back to the pack and if you know there are different levels to this right so you're suggesting it sounds to me not to put words in your mouth that that could affect his play if he feels like he's not getting the respect the status it, he deserves it, it will affect his play it will it will affect the way he's officiated it will affect the way you know teammates and in the rest of the league treats him you know it's like that there, there are max players, and then there are max players who, de who have different status, right? Mm -hmm. So LeBron James, Kevin Durant, they're max players, and they got A-plus status. Sure, sure. And then there are other max players in the league who don't have A-plus status, but they still have max status. Now, if you don't have max status, and you're James Harden, and you've been at that level, then you're going to get treated a little different by the rest of the league, the officials, the fans, and your teammates.